Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. I wanted to take the opportunity uh, to give you a quick review on a brand new power station we just added to our website. Uh, we we are contacted by by uh, manufacturers literally daily on on us offering our pro their product on our websites, and I, I say no to most based on the specifications. This one grabbed my attention, and I have done a lot of testing on it, and I'm actually quite happy with the results. So I'm going to compare it. So the one on the left is the AFRI P310. So that's the one we've just offered on our website. I have the EcoFlow Delta Pro on the right right here, which most people are gonna be familiar with. So I'm gonna do a comparison of both. Um, basically the pros, and I'm not gonna really call it cons, because I, I have specific uses for my portable power stations or solar generators um, that I believe a lot of people are, are using it for the same purpose. So. Just quick walk around, give, give you an idea of size. The Afri is a touch taller, and the Delta Pro is a touch longer. So, and I will have the, the dimensions in there as well in, in the next couple moments. And pardon, pardon the crunching of the leaves, I am in the greenhouse because it is February in Canada, and it's nice and warm in the greenhouse and there's no snow on the ground here. So a few things about this. Let's start with battery capacity first. The AFRI, which is this guy right here, is 3,840 watt hour. So it is 240 watt hour larger in capacity than the EcoFlow Delta Pro, which is 3,600 watt hour. So that's a big bonus. Uh, in regards to the plugins, oh, let's let's talk about weight too. And like I said, I will have the specifications in here. The weight of of either the AFRI is 88 pounds. And the Delta Pro, and if I make a mistake, I'll, I'll add it in there, I believe is 99 pounds. So there's a little bit of difference in weight. Both of these have carrying handles on the side, which is great. Both of them, I'll just go to the back so you can see, both have wheels, and then both have the pull-out handles in the front. So being I'm in the back, let's just kind of go over a couple things here. Um, now, the Delta Pro is expandable, so you have the two ports there. The Afri is not. In my eyes, that's not a deal breaker, and I'll tell you my way of thinking, and you take what you want from it. Um, I did have expansion batteries for my Delta Pro, but at the end of the day, that's all they are. They're just expansion batteries. All they do is increase the capacity. Uh, there's no phys You can't plug anything into them to charge and you cannot power them from solar. So to me, that didn't make sense. I'd rather have, for example, two Delta Pros or two Afri's as opposed to one with an expansion battery so that I can rotate them in the case of a grid down uh, situation. So other than that, on the back of the Delta Pro, it does have a switch there for slow and fast charging, which is a bonus because the slower you charge these batteries and both are rated to 3,500 life cycles, so they both have the newer battery chemistry, um, the better it is. This one doesn't have it on the back, but it does have a dial on the front. Uh, this, the Afri does have a, a light right here, haven't used it. I guess it could be handy for certain things, but it does have that ability. Both have the fuses, of course, as well. Um, now, technically, the only difference for charging from solar, the Afri uses an XT90 plug, which we do have cables for. The Delta Pro has an XT60i plug. So that's the difference there. And I'll tell you about the solar charging capabilities and you'll know why in a moment that the Afri does take a larger plug. So we saw in the back the um, of the Delta Pro, it had that switch. So you can do fast charging or slow charging. So there's two settings. Well, the Afri has a dial where you can actually, it's one, two, three, four, five different settings, depending on how quickly you want to power from AC or, or a gas generator. The bonus to that is, and let's use a gas generator as an example. Let's say you have two or three of these and you want to power them all, but you're limited to let's say a, a Honda 2200, which I believe only has, if I'm not mistaken, 1800 uh, working watt hours. Well, then you could dial it down and you could have three of these powering from that in a grid down scenario if, if you didn't have the access to solar. So that, that allows for a little more versatility with that. So now with the plugs here, you'll see four 110 plugins, and then you've got a 30 amp plug on the Delta Pro. And then let me just open this up here, guys. Same thing, four plugs, 110 and a 30 amp. The difference between the 110s on the Delta Pro, they're rated for 3,600 uh, watts. 
and then you, the half free is 3300 watts it's only a 300 watt difference and for most people that's not going to be a deal breaker uh, the delta pro has four usb two usb type c and i like the afri because it actually has four usb type c which is going to be more predominant nowadays and two usb each of them have a 12 volt cigarette lighter plugger plug here's the one on the afri and the one on the delta pro is on the side right here the delta pro also has anderson uh, power pole connector and the afri has an xt60i connector and i'll have the um, the specs for that on both of them so for me the big thing about these and any power station that we that we offer and i use personally is the solar charging capabilities so the delta pro is 1600 watts max and it is 150 volts i'll put the amps in there i've forgotten that but i'll put that in the specifications as well the big difference is the afri is 2000 watts and 160 volts and again i believe it's 20 amps for that one so that is to me faster charging from solar if you have to rely on these on a grid down scenario to me that's going to be the most important thing uh, to know about so what I'll do is I will bring these into the garage and there's no point in showing you the, uh, the Delta Pro. It, it will charge from 1600 watts and, and I've maxed it at 1600 watts. But I'll see based on where we are at. We're in Canada at 51 degrees north latitude. Um, we're nearing the end of February and it is winter for us. So the, the sun is low on the horizon, but I've got a 2400 watt array that um, the way I have it on my garage, it's not at the proper angle, but I, I didn't, I did that purposely just because I didn't want it to be seen. Um, but I will, we'll see if we can get 17 or 1800 watts at least coming into it. Well, I think we should be able to, but we'll, we'll verify depending on what the haze is like up there. Um, so yeah, these, these are the two options here. Oh, and by the way, guys, price, here's the big thing. On sale right now, the Afri is $18.99. Um, on sale, the EcoFlow, I've seen it for $25.99, $23.99 that we've offered it. That's the lowest I've seen it. That's a huge difference in price. So if you're looking for something that's not expandable, to me, that's, I, I don't think it's important. For some people, it will be. Uh, something that is, you want to save money on, you've got a larger battery capacity, you've got better solar charging capabilities. Um, to me, Afri is, it's a very good brand. And this company has been around since 2017 as well so either way um, this is on our website and i will have some specifications on how well it charges from solar including our solar blankets but uh, give me a moment and i will be right back and we'll be inside the garage i'll plug it into our solar and we'll see how well it does with that okay i'll be back in a couple moments guys okay guys i'm in the garage right now i've got the afri power station plugged in i'll bring the camera closer so you can see what's going in rated for 2000 watts rated for 1600 watts and then i'll plug in the ecoflow delta pro here just to show you the difference okay so right now we've got just under 1800 watts looks like it's creeping up to about 1800 watts um we've got a little bit of cloud cover a little haze so i don't think there we go we had 1800 for a second i don't think we'll see the full 2000 but this will at least give you a little bit of perspective. Okay, it's still creeping up. So the bonus is this one is capable of 2,000 watts of solar. So we'll just give it a little, a few more seconds. We just had a bit of snow this morning, uh, a little bit of haze. So either way, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, might even get to 1,900 watts, which is good. But I'll, uh, like I said, I'm going to plug in the Delta Pro just to give you a comparison. I'll have the specs of the solar that we are using as well. This is our own thin film solar that I put on the roof of the garage. Keep in mind, we are at 51 degrees north latitude in Canada, end of February. So right now for us to get results like this with the haze that's outside, okay, there we go. Yeah, just over 1900 watts. I'm just gonna set this down. You'll see me unplug, here's the Afri. I'm gonna unplug it. And then I'll plug in the Delta Pro. And like I said, the Delta Pro is rated for 1600 watts. So that's the max that we're going to see out of the solar array that we just attached right there. 
So literally, there's your difference, guys. We can't go over 1,600 watts. So, you know, for the Delta Pro to get 1,600 watts, to have that as, as an option, it's better than a lot of the power stations on the market. But the way I look at things, especially with our interesting world right now, and trying to be politically correct with that, guys, is that um, what if we have to rely on these for how they're designed? What if we have to rely on them for running from solar? Um, more solar is better. Having the ability to charge quickly. If you can max out the 2,000 watts on this specific unit, you're going to be charging this battery capacity of 3,840 watt hours in less than two hours from zero to 100%. So yeah, there we go. We're just starting to creep up. I'll show you here. So like I said, we have a little bit of haze, so we don't have consistent sun. So there we go, just under 1,600 watts, might creep up again. But we saw just over 1,900 watts a moment ago. But like I said, unfortunately, we don't control the haze above us. And I was hoping for a little bit more of a sunny day for this. But you saw almost 2,000 watts going in. So that's actually quite good. So one of the other subtle differences I want to make or mention um, that I didn't mention in the greenhouse. This one does have the option, the Delta Pro, of a double voltage hub. So that is a bonus that you do have that. So that basically means you can combine two of these together with the double voltage hub cable to achieve 7,200, yeah, 7,200 watts of uh, power. Now, granted, um, a greater percentage of our customers aren't going to need that. So to be able to do 3,300 watts, uh, from your AC plugs here, as well as your 30 amp RV plug, that's going to be more than sufficient for a lot of people. The other thing, if I didn't mention it already, are Faraday bags. Each of these, even though they're just a little bit different in their dimensions, they're, they're very, very similar. Each of these will fit into our, um, uh, our Faraday bags. And you have a little bit of room on the sides where you could actually take a 300 watt solar blanket and slide it down the side and have it or possibly two of those. So you would have room for other electronics on the sides of these as well too. So yeah, I'm glad I was able to show that. Uh, unfortunately, because of what's going on with the clouds above us right now in the haze, I wasn't able to max out the solar. Basically what we're running for our solar array, I combined two of my 1200 watt arrays, each are rated for just under 150 volts, uh, each are rated for just under 12 amp. It's about 11 and a half amp. So I combine those in parallel to max out the solar charging capabilities of both of these. And again, that's our thin film solar. We are going to have it on our website here right away. We have, they're less than seven pounds. Their sun power solar cells are actually Gen 6, which is quite exciting. And I'll have all the specifications on that. Those will be on our website as well too. Um, and they're, they're small, they're lightweight. Uh, you can use them for a... Um, a trailer you could do something similar to what I did which is not traditional solar but I have a specific purpose for it or you can use it on a van build or what have you but uh, yeah no I'm glad I was able to show that you saw the, the higher wattage on this to me for what this offers for the battery capacity which is larger larger than, than the Delta Pro for the better solar input which is higher than the Delta Pro by 400 watts it's even a little bit less weight it's 12 12 pounds lighter to me, at $1,899 US, and that's the delivered price with no US sales tax, this is the best bang for the buck for what's out there. Some people might have need for expandability. For myself, expandability is not important. I would rather have two of these or two of these units as opposed to one of these and an expansion battery because then I can rotate the power stations. But either way, guys, um, any questions? My name's Renny. I'm the owner of the company. Uh, definitely reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer any of those for you. We are doing custom packages for people. If um, there's something that's, a, I know this is a little daunting for people when it comes to power stations and how they, uh, how you connect to solar and, and what's required for that. Because not everything is built equal and there's no cookie cutter way for everybody based on everybody's individual power requirements on how to uh, power from solar or or utilize specific size solar generators. So definitely reach out to us. I'd be happy to answer those questions. And if you can, please like and subscribe to our videos. As you can tell, I don't read from a script. I basically give you the meat and the potatoes. This is how I would use it. This is how, based on conversations with our customers, um, how they would use our products as well too, 
all based on our, and I'm being as politically correct as possible, our interesting times that we're in right now. That uh, doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. But yeah, so any other questions, let us know. My contact information will be below. Like I said, please like and subscribe. We are shipping within three business days. We do have these units and these units in both the Canadian and the U.S. warehouses. So they will ship directly to you if you're in the U.S. from the U.S. warehouse. If you're in Canada from the Canadian warehouse. All of our solar blankets like this, that's our 300 watt solar blanket if you're not familiar with it. Um, folds up to the size of a laptop, lightweight. Any of these products along with our cables, Faraday bags, will ship from us in Canada. Just so you're aware of that as well too. But we are shipping within approximately three business days. Okay, I'll let you guys go. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll get this uploaded here pretty quick and we will go from there. Keep warm. It is chilly out here for us right now. It's about minus 30 and then tomorrow it's going to be above zero. That's the joys of living in Alberta. We have these things called Chinooks that come in and the weather can literally change by, this is Celsius, not Fahrenheit, 40 to 50 degrees in one day we've seen it. Okay, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye then.